All right, guys, I'm going to show you a little something here. So I have this intake. Basically, it's just a transfer tube is what I'm going to call it. I know that's not what it's called, but it's basically just a tube that goes in here. As you can see, I ripped off the foam in there, but I just want to show you this because fitment's still going to be the same. So there's the, uh, there's the difference. It's actually quite, quite big. It's moved off to the left, to the right if you're on the snowmobile by quite a bit there. So what I had to do is back off here with one hand. See my memory card's running low. That's cool. I'm gonna create a 3D printed little spacer that goes in there so it kind of puts it up a little bit and that'll make it so that it won't it'll line up perfectly because what's going on right now is it's hitting right here and the hood can't move over because these tabs need to line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's get into my software. All right, here's the part. Got it all designed and fabricated as you saw in the video. Printed it, took about four hours. This is made out of TPU filament, so it's stretchy. 50% infill, and yeah, let's go ahead and put it on quick. All right, we got it on. As you can see, I left just enough for a little lip there. So when we put it on here, there's that. And here is my center right there. So let's go ahead and plug that All in. Alright, so here we go. As you guys can see, fitment is now phenomenal. It's sealed up and in there really nicely. Both sides, look at that. I mean, besides that little part to the left, that's driving my OCD nuts. But other than that, she, uh, she sealed up real nice when you wiggle it. Up or down, side to side. Stays in place, which is dope. And I can feel way down in here. The only reason it could even partially come out is because I'm moving the hood when I do this. But when it's jam-packed in place like that, well, bam, it's still in there nicely. So, yep, love it. Love the fit. All right, so went ahead and added that little foam thing back in there. Let's go ahead and put the side panels on. All right, plastics are on and should be good to go. So I'll go ahead and talk to you guys here probably tomorrow. It's getting a little low. There was a crack in the tunnel. Well, I decided to JV weld that to see if it would hold it. Sure enough, it didn't. So we're gonna have to backtrack, take all this off, take my secondary clutch off, pull the track and go get that welded because I'm not going to send stuff knowing that there's a crack like that and I should have done it right in the first place, it's totally my fault. And I just wanted to see if that JB weld would hold but obviously that's just a sketchy way and I usually don't do that but we, uh, we're being a little bit stupid there so we're going to go ahead and get all this crap off and get all these rivets out and get this side body panel off so we can get that done so I'm 100% confident in Snowflake that she'll be ready to go and I won't have any worries about anything exploding so I mean exploding is a little dramatic but you know what I mean not very enthused about it uh, a little mad at myself to be honest with you so we'll go ahead and get that dialed and drain, drain out the chain case get all that crap out 
got everything off the sled, um, all of the plastics, everything like that, and basically got all the fluids from the chain case and pulled our skid, our track, and we took all the JV weld off. As you can see, we tried to bend it back to make it look as good as possible. It's way better than it was before, nice and, well, straighter. Not exactly 100%, but um, this is what needs to get welded. Right there, that guy, because I don't know if you can tell, but whenever you uh, apply pressure to it, it'll, it'll move, so we don't want that. We don't want that at all, so go ahead, get this thing welded up, and be good to go. So, that's uh, it's a bit of a bummer, yeah, it sucks. So... I say so when I'm upset, but it is what it is. It's got to get back done. This is actually just electrical tape for a tab that uh, gets welded right here. And yeah, we'll go ahead, get this thing loaded up in the truck, and get it off to our local guy who does the welding. Um, all right, guys, what's going on? A uh, little update on Snowflake. Here is the progress, got it all back from the welder. Um, if you want to go check out who I got this welded by, uh, the name is K-Bros, and they did a phenomenal job on this. It may not look the prettiest, but that's just because I told them to fill all of this in with weld because uh, we go pretty extreme, and I don't want this thing cracking again, so this whole brace has went ahead and got supported, so let's go ahead and put the track on. All right, um, shout out to my dad for helping get the track on. Definitely needs to be tensioned, yes, I realize that. We got the, the track on, we got our primary and secondary clutch. This primary was already there, secondary got put on. Um, we have got all of our chain case, all the gears back on, filled with oil, tighten the lock nut, or tighten this finger tight, quarter turn out, tighten the nut, and then put all this stuff back on. Coolant looks a hair low, so we're gonna have to add some of that. And then, if you come over here, the weld looks really good. And then, there is a little bit of room still in between. You just can't really see it, but there's just enough between the track. But, yeah, so, perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna go eat something. I'm hungry. But, there's an update. And we're gonna put the, the plastics on, do our, teen, our tension on our belt. Good job. It's a little loose. And we'll be next good. day, got something to eat, feeling like a boss, you know. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and take all of these stickers off because it is not an RMK and it is not an 800. Same thing with that side there. And there are my graphics there. They shouldn't be all wrinkled up like that, but that's how they were mailed. So, you got to work with what you got. Who cares? So, we're going to go ahead and apply the graphics onto this and take these off. Um, if you guys are like, hey, how do I get the sticky ooey gooey mess off of the plastics when you know you take this sticker off and there's that adhesive backing still I use this stuff it's called goof off oh shoot almost dropped it goof off uh, pro strength doesn't hurt the plastics I've did a couple tests doesn't hurt them works like a charm don't breathe too much of it in or you'll get a headache so yeah but uh, let's go ahead and put these on that side on and we can't forget about the hood huh? I miss you, Fury. We'll ride again soon. I miss you too, Dash. We'll ride again soon. Doug's an OG. He's always being able to be ridden, even in the snow. I mean, the dirt bikes are too, but I don't want to ride my dirt bikes in the snow. So, all right, let's go. All right, we got the first absolute beauty graphic on. Looks phenomenal. We're going to take those bad boys off. Wham, wham. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead, get that bad boy taken care of. Hood's on. Got the bolt on. Got to put the clutch on. Well, the belt, the clutches are already on. Gotta love my little zip tie job. Should have done them in black, but that's okay. Adds character and horsepower. Uh, let's get these graphics on the hood. As everyone, Snowflake is officially an absolute beast. We got the wrap all done on it. Uh, looks absolutely phenomenal. Did I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Um, overall, the installation took forever because every nook and cranny I had to make sure everything was perfect as you can tell even down to the slightest little cuts here to make sure everything aligned perfectly along with all of this stuff here but 
Yes, Snowflake is officially for the most part on the engine and all the main components it's done, wrap wise it's done. Uh, there's just a couple key little things that need to be done still such as I want to turn this black again because it's blue and I don't like it but that's as easy as sanding it and then either painting it or just actually just sanding it because the stock color is black and then also getting a seat cover and after that that is it and we're gonna actually show you a quick clip of riding footage and the first ripperoo on this thing with the new wrap and everything so